Hey guys, this is Leonard here with a video. I'm here to talk about my uh, Extreme Home Arcades two-player tabletop machine that I've had um, custom built for me. Um, I've had this machine for just over a year and a half, um, back in October 2018, um, and I am still playing this thing every day. So uh, the machine has pretty much every game that I could ever thought that it existed, and he is constantly, uh, Dave, the owner at Extreme Home Arcades, is, he's constantly adding more games to it. Um, I really like this machine. I saw this on um, a channel, uh, MameFam, on YouTube. And um, I also saw Scantron 5K. He's also uh, an owner of this, uh, one of the uh, arcades. He has the larger Megacade. But um, I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it on, on YouTube. Now, um, the model that I have here, it is a tabletop, so it is a smaller version. The TV screen is, I believe, a 27, 28 screen TV. Um, I didn't want to get any artwork for the machine. Um, I pretty much wanted it all black, kind of streamlined with the rest of the house, keep it simple. But I fell in love with this active marquee here. Um, it's still pretty new technology that um, are in current arcades that people are, you know, building. But Dave at Extreme Home Arcades, he had this custom made and program to line up with the games that you play. So if you notice, anytime you change a game, that artwork sits on top, and I couldn't be any happier with this. Um, I pretty much play this machine every day, but I still like playing the, the old school games. I have yet to fi find out a whole bunch of games that I haven't played yet. There are thousands and thousands of games on here that I'm pretty sure that I haven't played yet and won't be able to get to in the near future but and on top of that he is adding more games so um just kind of go a quick rundown on my machine so this is a two-player machine i got the standard seven button layout more for street fighter right here i got mortal Kombat if i want to use you know that run button uh, but i got it set up that way um, i got a trackball here so you can play games like missile command marble madness um and like every machine also comes with a uh, four player, I'm not a four way joystick. So if you wanna play, you know, Pac-Man, Dig Dug, that, those type of things. Um, I got a spinner. I haven't really used that many, uh, play that many games with that. I know um, Arknoid um, works like that. If you wanna play that, um, these are just the standard because it is a computer. So these are the mouse controls here. Um, before I had this machine built for me, um, I went to like the local arcades to kind of get a feel for what I really liked. Um, I like the compact design, but I really fell in love with the game um, Qbert. So um, I asked Dave uh, because I didn't want to play Qbert on the eight-way joysticks that I have here. So I had him install a four-way joystick on an angle so this works in diagonals, just like that. And um, I also got a Tron flight stick for when I want to play games like, you know, Afterburner, or I think you could even play Space Harrier with that on the Sega Genesis and the arcade. Great for that. And uh, this game also, or this machine also plays um, pinball machines. So if you see on the side, they got little, you got little flipper buttons um, on each side, so we can play that. Um, I haven't played that many driving games, but I did get the uh, Thrustmaster uh, steering wheel for this, and you can plug it in in the front USB like that. And I also got the uh, dual aim track guns with the uh, recoil. So those are great for main playing games like Lethal Enforcers, um, Point Blank, uh, Time Crisis, uh, T2, uh, pretty much anything that you've seen in the arcades. And then uh, Dave is always adding more games here, so um, there have been new additions. Um, I believe the latest would be like Techno Parrot and um, Raw Thrills that we're able to get on here. So um, really good stuff. Keeps it current as um, as it becomes available. Now um, with the player uh, two player uh, tabletop machine, this is on the smaller end. Um, but as for me, I really like it just because of the compact size and um, I wanted to kind of 
uh, I didn't want to be the centerpiece of the room just because I do have family over. So it's in the same room as our TV, um, which uh, I also was able to, you know, if you want to, you could play on the big screen. So um, I have it mirrored on my uh, big screen TV with the dual ports that they have on the back of that graphics card that's installed in there. So if you don't want to play on the arcade, you could also use the Xbox controllers. Um, he has the option to purchase those. So this does have a wireless feature. You use the wireless controllers, sit on the couch. You play some PS3, PS2, Dreamcast, um, whatever requires a Xbox controller. I think N64 also requires them, the newer systems, uh, Game Gear PSP, things like that. So I've got a couple of these, had them programmed with the machine. So you could, you could play it here, but if you wanted to play with the big screen, it works that way too. It's good for game nights uh, when you have company over. And um, yeah, I love it. So you got the marquee running here. So people, you know, don't interrupt you and ask what game you're playing. Self-explanatory. Um, yeah, just sit on the couch and enjoy. Now, um, if you see this thing is going in rotation, so there's systems after systems, after systems, after playlists, um, you know, they've got videos on here, everything that you could actually want. Uh, this is like the whole entertainment system I have come across and I couldn't be happier. Now um, with Extreme Home Arcades, the, uh, the wait time, he's getting really busy now. So um, if you wanna, you know, try and place an order, um, you, you put a deposit on and discuss what you want built for the arcade. Um, and then you play, pay in full upon delivery, I believe. Um, for my machine, it took a wait time. Let's see here. I ordered this back in June of 2018. And then I was able to get it at the end of, let's see, October of 2018, going into like the first two weeks of November. Um, which was pretty lucky. The, they uh, were able to get the Russian before uh, Christmas. Cause that's what I was worried about. People were trying to get their, you know, mega kids, pedestals, game boxes, all built uh, by the end of year. So, I mean, he is picking up a lot of steam now. So he's getting a lot of orders. If you want to jump on this, um, make sure you contact Dave at Extreme Home Arcades. Um, he'll go over the details with you, put your order in, and then you could have it customized to your liking. Um, before they start building. Um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to you know, like and subscribe. Talk to Dave. Um, he's a man to get it done for you. And um, yeah, any other questions, have a good day. Thank you.